Right. If anybody could help me with that. Ah, oh, good. I Definitely. Think I will give you yes. what you call a grease your palms. Is that what you say? <laughs> grease your palm for it. Yeah, we'll we'll go we'll go we'll go with that. Sure. Yes. Yes. Grease grease away. This RP sucks. You suck. Oh. Hello, sir. Oh, there. You didn't didn't. Ah, yes, good. And? I just thought I would pop by. Uh, don't let me good. interrupt your sale. Go ahead. No, no, we're just... Um, this, this fine lady here is actually looking... You don't happen to have a Quetzal for sale, do you? No. Mm, that's unfortunate. She is, she's looking for one. I so. have grease. So what can, I, what can I do for you? So welcome to Bob's Buy and Sell. Do you have something you wish to sell or okay, something you wish to Bob, buy? I will talk to you later. You betcha. Thank you. Thanks for looking out for me. Yes, anytime. All right. Yes, sir. Hello. What? I didn't. I didn't catch your name in that introduction, sir. Who are you? My name. My name is Trig. Short for Trigger, and my last name is Paris. What is your name? Oh, well, my name. My name is Bob. Bob Johnson. It's on the sign outside, actually. Yes. Yes. How was I to know you are Bob? Maybe you have employees, Bob. Well, uh, there's tri Trig. Was it as um. As you can tell, the business is just starting up, so it's it's for me and only me right now, sadly. So yes, I am Bob. Wonderful. Oh, Bob. Yes. Uh, I'm not really looking to sell or buy anything, but I was curious, what do you have for sale currently? Um, well, as you can see on the wall here, there's there's not many items, just a couple that I've happened to come across myself. A few weapons, a few. Um, Pieces of armor. Nothing crazy, but you know, it gets it gets this this door starting, as they say. Yeah, starting just fine. You uh, you seem interested. Is there something perhaps you would like uh, you would like from this list, or something not on the list? How about this? Um, if you come across any um, body parts stored in jars that are not stored using formaldehyde. Would you let me know? What uh, what other forms of storage are there besides this formaldehyde? Um, vinegar? Possibly frozen. Ah, frozen body parts. Okay. Um, like hu hu people parts, or, or animal parts. Yeah, it's human. Hum no human. I like to dissect them and learn about them. All right. Um, I'm not sure I'm that kind of store, but I mean, y you never know. I guess it is a buy and sell. People will bring in pretty much anything. Wow. You, you move a lot. And am I making you uncomfortable? Um, no. I've just you know I've always been a happy man. Love to dance. Da, 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 da. I should try it sometimes. Maybe it'll cheer your spirit up a little. You seem kind of down. How do you know? Why would you assume that I am down? I'm actually quite happy right now. Are you from the north side of the island? I mean, they, they did warn me about those northerners and their, their different ways, I guess. I was actually the first playing Overwatch. It doesn't matter where I'm from. I'd just like to point out it's very quiet around here. You don't have a lot of neighbors. Well, uh, um, Mr. Mr. Trigg, I am on an island, so technically, all of my neighbors are overseas. Yes, yes, technically they are. And and you say you work alone here. Do you have any family? Well, I've got my my family of trusty sidekicks near my house. Um, sadly, they're in animal form. You know, I'm fairly fairly new to the island. My uh, buy and sell is kind of my kickstart to get uh, get to meet people. Yes, like I've learned a lot about you right now, sir. So. Oh, oh, do tell me, what have you learned about me, Bob? Well, Mr. Trigg, I've learned that you uh, have a certain attraction to people in their in their pots. 
not exactly that part. I, I just have an attraction to people. I like to learn about them, figure out what makes them tick, and body parts. Mm. Well, you dissect them, and you can learn a lot about that particular person. For example, somebody that eats poor food, I could very well see that by dissecting any part of their body. Right. And what have, uh, what have you discovered so far in your dissecting, Mr. Trigg? Well, many wonderful things, but that's private information, sorry. Hmm, yes, well, maybe perhaps one day if there's something you wish to purchase, we can trade for knowledge instead of items. What, so? But, but, you see, I'm in need of a human small finger. A human small finger? What, what, what for? Well, I, I need to dissect one. See, I've never dissected a human little finger. Hmm. Um. I suppose you're asking for one of, one of mine. Yes. You are. Hey, buy and sell. Maybe I could buy your little finger. Um, uh, Mr. Trigg, I mean, not to, not to seem rude, but I do like my, all, all ten of them, actually. They're, they're very prized to me. I mean, having, could you imagine my shot without one of them? Well, you don't need the, the little finger, really. Well, have you ever tried holding a gun without? I mean, it's it's a very important support on the bottom. They're going back by your guns wrong, friend. Hmm. Perhaps. Well, maybe I'm in need of a lesson as well then. So what? Well, maybe I could try to do that. What? After I take your little finger. Well, what? Uh, what's the going rate? I mean, my my store could use some some funds and supplies to boost it along. What's the going rate for a, a finger? How about a canteen? A canteen? Yes, they're very expensive. I doubt you have a canteen already. Um, so please, please come, step outside for a second. Let's come outside. Um, I would like to ask you, what what do you see all around me? What do you see? You can put liquor in the canteen, sir. Is it quite good? Sir, I run a very respectful buy and sell. I do not plan on operating it under the influence of alcohol. And as you can see, plainly there is water everywhere for me. A canteen simply just doesn't tickle my fancy, as you can say. How about a human toe? A human toe. Um, well, as you can see, I actually... I have ten already. Um, if not you don't have one, you can sell. I see, I happened to acquire one. Somebody gave me their toe. Hmm. I um, have a question for you. I. Earlier I had notes in a bin over there with people, and there was a man who left a note saying they wanted my toe, and I think it was... was it a Ted? Does... do you have anything to do with this Ted from... that wanted a toe? Well, you see, this Ted, he lives... he lives in the swamps with the murky... murky swamps. Right. I I've... Quite remember their name. I met them uh, the other day, yes. He's sure, peace bell, Ross. There is somebody doing it. It's stupid. Likes to steal people's toes, and you see, for a man like me that likes to dissect different parts of the body, it's very beneficial for me to know him. However, he stole that toe from his girlfriend. They're not to mm. be trusted. Um, all right, well, I did meet these men, and they had a little bit of an oddness to them. Um, I'm not sure I trusted them, but... 
I mean, I'm not sure that many people are to be trusted over here, especially with rumors of toes and things going around, but um, I'm not so sure I would be interested in a toe. However, how, how badly do you want my little finger? Not very badly. I thought I would just ask for conversation. Hmm. Well, I mean, see, I value my uh, appendages very much, and if if it was to extremely benefit my store, then I could perhaps part ways. But I'm just not sure what would indeed uh, the price is going to be. I mean, I mean, let's be real; it's it's a finger. There's a guy doing Bob Ross, but he's like a depressed Bob Ross, and it's actually kind of stupid. But well, yes. I mean, uh, hopefully, none of my fingers are going to be going anywhere. They are cleanly attached to my arms, as you can see. So, if you come across anything that maybe would uh, do well in my shop to attract some more customers, then perhaps a uh, finger could be yours. I guess. Tell anybody that I asked to stick your finger off. I'll cut your whole hand off. Excuse me. What? I'm just I'm just making friendly conversation. Doesn't doesn't sound very friendly, sir. I just hope you understand that if you tell people I asked to cut your finger off, I will cut your whole hand off, and I will feed your own fingers to you like hot dogs, one by one. Well, speaking of hot dogs, actually, as a welcome to everybody in this uh, in this little bin here, we do have some steaks. If you are hungry, maybe that'll take your mind off the the hot dog um, feeding in question. Uh, no, no I, I'm not hungry, Bob. But thank you for the offer. Hmm. Well, um, I guess uh, this little conversation never really happened, then, did it? Just watch yourself around those murky swamp people. I um I must ask you too. I'm getting I'm getting some vibes. There's there's these Vikings and there's the Navy that don't seem to be getting along. I'm not really sure where where a man like me should should lay. Do you do you know which sides are not to be trusted? Well, other than his side. In my opinion, you probably shouldn't uh, ally with either side until it's clear which side would win. Um, they both live up the coast that direction. Right, I did see a sign that was warning um, about turrets in the Navy. It didn't really seem like a friendly bunch. Yes, well, let them have at it and maybe it'll be very profitable for you. Maybe uh, I could play cleanup duty and sell all their body parts at the buy and sell, right? Am I right, Mr. Trigg? <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's if I don't get to them first, Bob. Mm, I see. You're not, you're not planning on opening up your own buy and sell then, are you? No, Bob. I do not have a profession. I, I just want to learn about people. Well, Mr. Trigg, what... Uh, what do you think you've learned about me so far? Well, Bob, I've learned that you like to think of yourself as a loner, but really, Bob, you don't like being alone. Your twitchy movements say a lot about you. You're very empty inside, and you <laughs> long to find someone to live with you, to set up shop with you, Bob. Well, I mean, I, I haven't eaten since morning, so I guess I am a little empty inside, yes. I feel bad for you, you see. You seem like a nice gentleman. Hmm. Well, thank you, Mr. Trigg. I, uh... I guess I can say the same about you. Yes, I guess. Yes, but I'm very nice. I'm one of the most friendly people you'll meet. I'm also a good person to have on your side, Bob. So make sure you keep your mouth shut. Hmm. Yes, you see, I'm... I guess I guess from where I come from, friendly and offering to feed uh, one's hand to 
themselves is is often on the different end of the spectrum. So maybe I just have a lot to learn around here. <laughs> yes, Bob, you have much to learn. Hmm. All right. Well, maybe, uh, Mr. Trade, perhaps I should get back in my shop and get ready for more customers. Not that, uh, not that I haven't enjoyed your presence. Yes, of course. Go on. Go on into your shop. Get ready. More will come. All right. Well, you uh, say safe travels wherever you're going, Mr. Mr. Trigg. Pleasure. Pleasure to see you. Thank you for coming by and checking out Bob's buy and sell. It was nice to meet you, Bob. Yes. Yes, you you as well. Yes, wonderful. One, I, I believe your shop is right here to the left. Oh, so so it is. Yes, silly, silly, silly me. You are. Oh God, that <laughs> that is so creepy. Oh, oh, hello, hello, Mr. Trick. Sorry, I didn't, uh, I didn't, I didn't know if. <laughs> Where is he? Still there. <laughs> Hello, Bob. Oh, oh, Mr. Drake, sorry, I, I dropped my, uh, um, my 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 things down here. I'm just looking for them. Apologies. Oh, there they are. I found them. It's your property, Bob. You can do whatever you want. And uh, what uh, what uh, what are you doing then, Mr. Trigg? I'm just people watching, Bob. Um. Well, Mr. Trigg, you did you did say so yourself that I don't really have any neighbors, so I guess you're watching me? If that's what you want to think, Bob. I just, uh... I... Have a good day, Mr. Trigg. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> 